Welcome to Eagles and Birdies. Today we are going to walk through Operation 36. We are on level five and we're playing uh, Operation 36 at Premonition. So uh, level five, every uh, hole is 200 yards and we're gonna talk through the strategy to beat this. And so our strategy will be, we crushed level one where everything was 25 yards. So we are going to be, um, rather than going for the greens, the 200 yard greens, we're going to be laying up and right around that 25 to 50 yard range. We'll let our wedges work that worked well in level one and two and see how low we can go. So uh, let's get started. All right, we've got a nine iron here. We are looking to be in the you know, 155, 160 range. Probably have a little carry out here. It looks like it's downhill, but our goal is today to be between those red and those yellow tees. Red being 25 yards, level one. Yellow being 50 yards, level two. Again, the purpose is uh, course management, right? We're just trying to get to our strengths. So could we reach this green in one at 200 yards? Yes, but we chipped in for 36 yards to get a birdie and start us off one under. So uh, here you can see, again, aim point 151, slightly downhill. So we've got a pitching wedge. Try to put this out, you know, 140, 150, downhill again. It's gonna roll out, get a 130, one carry. Uh, we didn't catch the forward slope, so we got a little bit more than we planned, but Still have a 60 degree wedge in our hand at 72 yards uphill. So 80 is a good number for me. And let's see, we are, yeah, we're a little deep, but lots of trouble could happen if we would have went for that green. Off the tee, uh, lots of deep rough, and uh, we'll just put it up here. Try to get a par, move on to hold to one under would be the goal. Again, course management. And there we go. There's our par. All right, hole three. So we are going to try to take out any trouble, look for kind of that deepest, widest part of the fairway, and that looks to be 154 uphill. So we've got a nine iron. Again, we don't wanna hit any further into that choke point. There's traps on the left. We're gonna hit this nine iron, it's uphill. And because we club down, we're short of that trap. Just as we intended, take out all the trouble, find the widest part of the green, and we left ourselves 40 yards. Again, in between that 25 and 50 was our goal. And a little long, but we're gonna have ourselves a putt and an opportunity for a birdie. Not a ton of movement on these greens. A little bit a break here. As you can tell, I'm not taking a ton of time reading these greens, so I think we made it. There you go, another birdie. Level five for most golfers should be pretty automatic to pass. Hole four. 154 is the target. Got a nine iron again. So should leave us somewhere in that 50 to 25 range. It looks like I tugged it. So we are gonna be in a little bit of trouble here. Not the greatest shot, 63 yards. Got deep rough, but dealing with a 60 degree and uh, my guess is this is gonna come out a little hot. Not the best uh, layup ever, but we're out. We're gonna get on the green and have a real good look at birdie. So uh, got lucky, pretty poor layup on our part, tugged one, but uh, we've 
got 24 feet for a birdie. We can look at that. We're gonna have a birdie here. So could we've got a birdie if we went from it for it from the tee? You know, probably. Uh, the chances of me spraying a four or five iron are way better. Although I did pull that nine iron. All right, hole five. Um, we got 167. We pull the seven iron here and try to turn one over. And we did probably got a little greedy on that one, but we got away with it. And we're gonna leave ourselves 17 yard chip. Um, not the greatest course management on my part, but we got away with it. So let's just roll with it. And we came in a little hot there. So again, speed round, not really taking a ton of time. We're gonna put this off the fringe. Let's get it in the circle, get our par, move on to the next hole. Uh-oh, all right, we're in the circle. All right, we're three under coming into hole six. So we're in really good shape to clear level five. Uh, we're gonna stick to the plan. We wanna be short of that trap, all right? So you can see 148. So we pulled a pitching wedge. We wanna make sure we're short of that trap. If we crisp the nine iron, we would be into that trap. So let's be short. We're gonna pull a pitching wedge. We hit it uh, 130. It's gonna roll out, get us right to that 50 yard T. Again, that's been the plan. Take out the trouble. We've got 51 yards, but the key was identifying where that trap is and, and pulling a club definitely short of that. So chip one on here. We're gonna chip one in. No. Let's see if we've got a putt here for Birdie. I would hope we make this putt. It's flat eight feet, and that would get us to four under. There it is, four under, and we're on our way to hole seven. Could we be five or six under? Yeah, probably, we're just, you know, flying through this level five. All right, mm, we're gonna lay up 150, it's uphill. And uh, again, when, when you got all this room, just pick the widest part of the fairway. And uh, we hit a nine iron, tugged it again, not the greatest layup by any means, but we're gonna get away with it. 54 yards in the rough, should release. Flags on the front of the green. And so we wanna get something short. It's gonna run out, yeah, not the greatest, but you know what, we're gonna take it. We've got 18 feet left. Flat putt, this is very makeable. pushed it but we're still four under on our way to hole eight all right again traps on the right we're gonna want to stay very short of those so 150 is the number to stay short it is downhill so we pull the pitching wedge again to make sure we're well short 133 raw carry, it's gonna be short. It's gonna get us to those yellow tees. Sticking with the game plan. No reason to go for these greens on level five. 48 yards, 60 degree wedge. Hit a 38, let it roll down. And we're gonna leave ourselves another putt within 13, 14 feet. Let's just putt it with the wedge. We get this thing on lock and look at that, we made it. Putting with the wedge. And we are five under going into hole nine of level five, operation 36 at premonition. So we've got this locked down. So uh, we're gonna be a little aggressive. I, I want, I'm thinking that left side, could we lay up to the right? Yes, I like that left side. You get a better look at the green. Um, why we're 
you know, trying to pinch through this narrow part. Um, yeah, whatever. We're just having fun. We're five under. We're going to pass this level. And, you know, that's what happened, right? We went to the narrowest part of the green, or fairway, sorry. And uh, we, we found that trap. So we've got 74 yards. Gonna get out of here. Let's see if we can get a par. Keep it five under. And we should uh, walk away with a par five under with the completion of level five. You know, this putt with that wedge again at work on the last hole. Helps if you put the ball in the GC3's hitting area. And uh, look at that, we should start putting with our wedge. And we're on to level six. All right, there you go. Five, six under, six under. And, uh, you know, we just basically took out as much trouble as possible, aimed for the biggest areas of the fairway, and, uh, leveraged our stage one and two expertise that 25 to 50 yard range, laid everything up into that range, uh, chipped it up, putted well, and you're on to level six. So it's that simple, it's course management. Yes, could we have hit five irons, four irons uh, into these greens and maybe made eagle? Absolutely. But we very well could have sprayed them all over um, left and right and had bogeys. So operation 36, I think is, um, really good practice for your wedge game and course management. Um, you don't need to be going after every green, play to your strength, find the widest area, um, take out as many traps as you can for any mishits. And leave yourself 25, 50, 75, 100 in, and you're gonna par and birdie more holes. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.